We know spring means bugs are coming from everywhere and we warned you the cicadas were coming and now we have proof they are here. Billions of cicada nymphs are once again preparing to emerge from the earth and take to the treetops of 15 states across the East Coast and the Midwest. Action News reporter Bob Brooks has that story. Where would you see their heads peeking out? Yeah, there was actually, you can actually still see some in the holes there. The cicadas have surfaced, possibly the first right in our area on Caroline Duterte's 25 acre home in Quaker Town. A lot of them kind of left, but there's definitely two right there. Kinda you can see in the space, the, the grass is bare. She had a box covering it, which likely helped heat up the ground to the 64 degrees needed to get them to come out. She knows with so much land, it's going to get interesting. If there was this much in maybe a square foot of space, I can't imagine how many we have. And according to Martin Edwards, biology professor at Muhlenberg College, the periodical cicadas known as Brood 10 will create a site to see and hear. When it's really prevalent, it almost gets this flying saucer sound, like a woo, 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 woo. Total for Brood 10, some people estimate up to a trillion. He showed us specimens from the last time Brood 10 surfaced 17 years ago and adds they have one purpose, to mate and drop eggs. The males are going to sing their hearts out and the females are going to see if they like the song. And if they like the songs, they'll click their wings and he'll find her. He also says periodical cicadas, not to be mistaken by green annual cicadas, happen every couple of years only in the eastern United States. But Brood 10 is specific to our region and is the largest. They don't sting, they don't bite, they're edible. They're actually pretty good to eat. They're really good to eat for animals. Now with such large numbers set to pop up any day now, some say no way. I think I will stay in the house. What about like a billion bugs? Mm -mm, that make my skin crawl. But Professor Edwards looks at what's coming much differently. It's definitely, yep, Super Bowl 10. Okay, now Edwards adds, if you want to see the cicadas, the best place to do it is somewhere in between Allentown and Philadelphia. And their mating season lasts about four to six weeks. Then they die. And then we'll see him again in 17 more years. For now, we're putting in Allentown, Bob Brooks for Action News at 10 on PHL 17.